okay now if you feel difficult to follow the previous method you can also follow this one where you have to make a table like this okay now what example we have taken we have taken this example where we have three chemicals if you see properly you will see iron hydrogen oxygen iron oxygen hydrogen right even though they have reacted you still have these three chemicals all right now see the first column will be your element the second column will be your reactant the third column will be your product okay in your first column write the elements whichever is present okay iron written hydrogen oxygen now in your reactant we are talking about your reactant this area okay your iron has how much value since there is no numbers written over here what we used to assume is that they have one okay one we take it as one so our iron has one hydrogen has two oxygen has one now let us come to your product how much do you see iron has three hydrogen has two oxygen has four you see that only hydrogen is being balanced but what about iron no they are not equal hydrogen they are not equal so to make it equal multiplication is what we are using right to make it equal now with what multiplication i can get one one multiply by three will give us three yes so did we got three in both sides yes three now once you have written over here don't forget to write over here too because this is not yeah this is not the one which your teacher want to see okay the result they want to see is over here so you should arrange them like this three multiplied by one will give us three now both of them are equal let us see for hydrogen two two correct let us go to the next one oxygen okay here oxygen with what multiplication i can get four okay i can get four so that it will be equal in both sides one multiplied by four will give us four so four four correct right now i have to put this multiplication four in the equation right now remember you cannot put four like this because they are one they are one okay once they have reacted they become one piece okay they have become one so what four should not be written over here but in front of the chemicals okay water chemicals that is four okay four should be written over here like this now after putting four okay four into one will give you four that is your four oxygen correct now remember the crucial part is over here once you have done it it is not over you have to recheck it chemical equation is all about reject once you have done from top to bottom okay you have to recheck again now iron is three okay hydrogen uh, oxygen is four four correct but hydrogen has value has been changed because we have put four over here now we have put four in over here so automatically two gets multiplied by four and it gives you eight so it becomes eight that means we have to balance over this side over in the product side so what can i multiply by two okay with two to give us eight F two into four will give me eight so this four will be okay multiplication two into four will give me eight that is how you have to do so oxygen it is still clear F four into one will give us four on your right side four great this is how you should balance okay well, well once you start using this table okay recheck is a must okay rechecking is a must even though you have done it okay now lastly your answer should be written in this method okay lastly it should be written in this method remember to put it like this with what you have multiplied you have put it over you should put it over here okay see so after balancing it this is the answer which we are searching for okay 3 3 f e okay 4 h 2 o f e3 okay 3 3 o4 o is 4 and 4 into 2 is 8 4 into 2 is 8 
okay correct all right now i hope you have done it i will give you some of the equation which have been solved already so that you can use a table try it out by yourself whether it is correct or not okay find it by yourself all right let us see the next topic okay this is another question why do we need to balance the chemical equation sometimes they will ask in the exam why do we have to even balance them i have told you the answer already law of conservation of mass that that matter can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction so it cannot be created nor okay new no yes new substances will not be formed just like that okay the quantity will not go high or it will be destroyed but it used to change in different form and the mass will be equal the mass will still remain equal law of convert conservation of mass state that matter can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction the first point is that another thing is so number of elements involved in chemical reaction should remain same at reactant and product side so in both the reactant and product side the elements what should remain same the number of elements should remain same okay all right now there are different types of chemical reaction which you have to study the first one is combination reaction okay combination reaction another thing is decomposition reaction inside decomposition reaction you will see thermal decomposition electrolytic is there photolysis is there the third point is displacement reaction double displacement reaction now here if i have to define it in simple way okay in simple way how can i do combination reaction simply tell us that uh, two or more substance okay to take it example as a plus b will give you a b okay a b it will give us a b combination reaction is all about that one or two substances will combine together to form a new substance okay to form a new substance what about decomposition reaction in decomposition reaction you will see you will see that let me get my yes you will see that a single substance okay a single substance that is a b will split up into substance yes will split up into like this okay the view you will get like this a single substance will split up into two or more substances okay 